YouTube. Saucy day with another gold to six eggs video. Oh. You feel me? No after effects, just straight sauce on this one. Listen. <sighs> now you guys are gonna be very proud during this video and there's gonna be a lot of things that you guys nuggets that you guys are gonna pick up as well as you know some things that you guys might be on me for but you know what I'm saying we getting better and we holding ourselves accountable we're holding ourselves accountable that's for a fact so I learned how to like full screen it so you guys could see like the screen a lot clearly I'm still gonna be here like obviously right now like as you can see my face but I want to make it so that you can see the full chart and really understand the breakdowns so boom we're gonna go into this hey you see you still see me but now you can see the whole screen too and this is tough too because actually I tell you something I literally only traded Nas 100 this week literally one day I know right it wasn't because GU and EU wasn't giving moves but Nas 100 was just eating this whole week it was moving great gave a lot of liquidity grabs and supply and demand this week although it was NFP week it, it was moving amazing at least for me and I seen a lot of opportunity in the market I traded to my edge and I was successful simple with risk management so let's get into it so my first entry was a break even trade as you can see my bias for taking this trade was that 20 EMA was running below as we can see I got in on the 8 850 around the 850 candle and I, I caught the break of candle right here right here I bought, I bought the break of candle and with the break of candle like I said we had the 200 EMA going below and my bias for this was that every time frame as you can see four hour one hour except for 15 minute was all bullish so because of that I took this entry you know what I'm saying one of my entries got out with like a break even and the other one I wanted to see if it would come back up and I realized like all right New York Open is approaching and I don't like trading on New York Open so I was like you know what let me just get out took a small loss on that one and then as we continue as we can see New York Open happened at nine o'clock no at 9 30 and I waited for the break of candle I don't trade them listen I do not trade during New York Open but before or after if there is a move happening I'm gonna catch it so for this one I seen that we got the break I got in a little early I seen the liquidity grab it grabbed all this liquidity we still had the 200 EMA it tapped into this five minute zone which was also a 15 minute zone right here it gave me more confluence gave me the break a candle boom and I covered I covered my my losses or and this break even plus some so I was good on a day two trades and I was done right so that was Monday so now let's go to let's go to Tuesday high probability supply trade so this is what I was looking at at the moment it was around 7:35. I you know I get up around 7 15 7 30 give myself time to mark up my charts I went to the one hour I've seen that in a one hour is still bullish the four hour is bullish but it's, it's still it's very high it's very high right now um we're still in pre-market you know the, the market didn't open for New York yet so it's still pre-market so pre-market still for Nas it doesn't just shoot up yet so I know I had an opportunity to catch a, a nice counter as you can see high probability 200 EMA coming up above and although every other time frame was according to the 200 EMA bullish 
I liked this move because we were breaking multiple, we broke this low, we broke this low, and we broke this low. And this was a high probability setup. So came back to my zone. I got in, caught this breakup candle right here. I got in a little early, but caught this breakup candle, put my stop loss right above. And I caught, yeah, I caught a um, more than a one-on-one. -on -one. I caught a um, hey, yo. And I ended up getting out a little early because I seen it pull back. And like I told you, every other time frame was bullish. So I don't like to like stay too long, especially for Nas, because it's typically majority of the time a bullish. So it's like, why go against my that bias? So it ended up dropping a lot more, which if we go to other time frames, I could say like it had gaps to fill, but who, who's to say it was going to fill those gaps then? So I was good with what I received. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not greedy. You never want to be greedy in the markets because it will take back what it gives you. So, boom, I waited patiently. You know, I take two trades a day. Still Tuesday, I'm watching the markets. We get another tap into this five minute zone right here. Another high probably. And like I said, news didn't really know the direction it wanted to go in. And we had the 200 MA above. Um, 50 the 50 ema below and the 13 ema floating right above so i took the break of candle once again after new york open and what i ended up having it was that it kept playing and kept playing and i ended up because this candle right here was ranging up and down and i was like i don't even want to play with it so I ended up just taking a one to one. And as we can see, 50 EMA came above, tapped this, and ended up dropping for a lot more. As you can see, ended up dropping way, way more. So it's it's really just learning to just hold my trades. Like I said, is when you're in live market, you never really know where price is gonna go. So that's why it's very important to like, which I'm still learning, is to Make sure you take profit on that runner and make sure you, I said, take profit on the runner. Make sure you leave a runner. That's why we twin trade. You leave a runner, you take profit on one for one to one and you leave a runner. So that runner can go for one to two, one to three, one to four, maybe even on one to five. There's going to be days like that. But I realized that what I was doing and what I've known myself to do sometimes is I hold both positions because I'm trying to maximize my profits. And I'm thinking I'm maximizing my profits, but I'm really doing is stopping my profits because what will happen is that I will close both positions once it starts coming back because I'll see it coming back. And what will end up happening is it will drop tremendously or it might shoot up. And I ended up thinking to myself like, dang, I might have caught both positions at maybe a one to one, maybe the other one a little lower when all I had to do was close one position at a one to one and leave the other one running. And cover it, you know, move um, stop loss into break even. So if anything, I don't lose no money on that position, but I'm securing money already. So that's what I'm learning and that's what I'm bettering. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? I learned from this trade, especially because I still made money on it. It just wasn't as much money. So those are my two trades on Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday now. As, as you can see, I put close one and leave a runner. So running is a track star. So running is a track star. I gotta learn, like, leave your runners, you feel me? So for me, as we can see, Nas 100 was on a on a one hour. Four hours just been straight bullish. <laughs> it just be straight bullish. But on a four hour, it was bullish. One hour, it was um selling bearish. 15 selling bearish five minutes selling bearish we had 200 ema literally touching our candle it came into our zone five minute high probability supply with a one hour supply to match it which was really high probability tapped our zone um i ended up getting this trade break even because it came into profit a little bit and if I remember correctly, what I did was that I closed it before it could come all the way back up. 
and ended up dropping actually ended up dropping as we can see and i think what i happened with this one's that yeah it, it literally just grabbed liquidity on this one which this could have been another entry it grabbed liquidity touched the 200 ema which was high probability trade and it just it just dropped so we can see and i had seen once again a one hour demand with a five minute high probability zone it touched gave a break of candle as you can see if, once we zoom in but the problem with this is I gotta, I gotta realize that what happened we had to break multiple lows to get to this and although we had a one hour this was a one hour and i'm sure i think it was a 15 minute too see 15 it tapped the 15 minute liquidity and we had a five minute zone my issue was that it touched the 50 ema and as we can see we were going against the 200 we we want to go away from it not towards it which was a thing for me and it ended up ended up losing breaking breaking the zone and i learned my lesson on that one so that was hold on Yeah, and th so this was Wednesday, actually. This was Wednesday. The previous one was Tuesday, and this was Wednesday's moves. So Wednesday, finished with a break-even trade and a loss. Ah, you guys are gonna... It's okay, man. This is where I gotta hold myself accountable. I know what you're seeing on the screen. And yes, my rules were broken this day. I admit to it. There's, there's no need for me to lie. There's no need for me to not tell the truth on this one. It was. My rules were broken. I took three trades this day. And I'm only supposed to take one to two. Two the most. And although I profited big on my third trade, thinking like that is never going to make me successful long term or us successful long term when we break our rules because we change up our probabilities. We change up our foundation. And when we start doing that, we think we start thinking we can do this all the time or we get into predicaments when we think, oh, man, this might set up. Now, what if that third move I didn't win? So let me go into it to fight. You know what I'm saying? So I know this it's a lot to look at on the screen, but first, let me take off. Let me I want you to just focus on this. This cell, which was break even. Yeah, this. This right here is for this cell that I took a five minute. Let me move it back so it's much easier to see. So five minute, you're like, wait, it's, it's trending right here though, right? High probability, we had a um, break of structure. And yeah, to me, that was enough to see. So, and another thing for me was I knew like, it wanted to go in a direction to reach this high probability one hour zone 15 minute zone and a five minute zone so i knew in my head it just gave me more intention of why it would go there that's what made it more high probability for me to take that although the 200 ema was floating from below and like i said structure always overrules like it always over overrules indicators feel me so Boom, I took it on the break of candle. And why this was a break even for me, this I took profit right here, but as you can see, it wasn't a full one-to-one. -one. And I'm gonna be honest, like I'm still learning, I'm still progressing. But I if I was looking at it in the moment, I would see that it came to touch the 13 EMA right here. Came, touched the 13 EMA, and then look at what happened. I'm telling you, when you're in the markets, I got in. At 855 and I held this for about for about 15 to 20 minutes but I'm watching the market you know what I'm saying I'm watching price fluctuate so the moment I got out boom I took out liquidity at the bottom just just how I had thought and what could have been a at least a one a one to two at least a one to two if I, I took it down to um, liquidity to grab liquidity it ended up just being not even a one-to-one -one. so on these i gotta learn how to like you know what i'm saying like i said hold your trades trusting your trades and risk management 
so that I can actually catch the move, how it's supposed to be caught. And I gotta, we gotta trust our positions, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to like why we're taking the trade and what our edge and taking that and what, why, what makes it high probability to us? Cause that's how we're gonna learn to hold it. You know what I mean? So boom, that was the first one. And the second one I took, mind you, New York had just opened, but I was very antsy. And I had seen it sweep liquidity right here. I've seen the 200 MA and I've seen it so many times, but I was overzealous and I try to get in on, I try to get an aggressive entry right here. And what ended up happening, it didn't even, mind you, I didn't even get a break of candle, which was a little, like, come on, David, be patient, be calm. I thought it was gonna leave me because it was bouncing off the 200 for some time. And I was holding it, holding it, and eventually I just cut my losses, which was, this was a big loss. And I only, I didn't even twin trade, this only took one position. Which made me realize, David, just wait. If, if a trade leaves you, let it leave you. But I don't trade 200 in man, and it didn't really grab, it didn't grab major liquidity, which would have been like right here. All right here would have been major liquidity. I only grab liquidity from this area where my mouse is, which is not enough. You know, and I learned that looking back now, and I, patience. I lose certain trades just because I'm not being patient enough for it to come to my zone. And if it leaves, okay, that's fine. But at least I know if I'm gonna lose the trade, let it let it be a loss for me trading how I'm supposed to be trading, but not trying to force the trade. I realize whenever we force a trade, it doesn't go in our favor. But when we let trades come to us, instant TP, and. That's what ended up happening on this one. This was the actual move I was supposed to wait on, which was a one hour demand and a 15 demand high probability, high probability on a one hour and a low probability on a five minute. But that doesn't even matter because the other time frames are high probability. As we could see, um, we news came in too. I traded after news and news made it bounce, um, touch this. Could have gotten in and down here, would have been crazy, but I was just like, no, I was still contemplating as it was going up because I was supposed to be done. Like, mind you, I had closed. My, I'm going to just tell you guys from beyond. I had closed my laptop. But then I was like, no, what if it comes back to this area? And I started looking and it was literally, I'm, I'm looking at it. And I'm just like, I know this is going to explode. And I ended up taking two positions. And I took two positions and smacked my stop low. I mean, my take profit. Because we had the 200 EMA right, sitting right here too. And it came and boomed. I was I was happy I didn't try to be greedy. But like I told you, I do not recommend this. I'm only showing this to you guys to be transparent. This is what um my weekly reviews are for. Cause I don't just show you guys my winners or what's good, but I show you guys like I'm real. I gotta be real, I gotta be honest and authentic authentic. Cause this is what's gonna breed consistency. I was I was a little disappointed in myself because I'm better than that, you know. And it's not about just making money in the short term, but the discipline is what's going to make us go from okay and good to great and astronomical, to being supreme and superb. That's what we want. We want to be the best that we can. But if if we're if we're mixing things up, if we're not staying standing ten toes on what our plan is, then when hard times come or when certain situations happen and are we going to do this? And that's what I learned in my head. Like it was a winner today, but this could have just as well came down and snack, came down, grabbed the liquidity one more time. And that would have been a loss. So definitely like moving forward. If, if, if I see another winner, no matter what, I got to close my laptop. Like I got to just live with the results because that's what's going to breed that in my mind. And that's what's going to keep us disciplined and discipline is going to have us trust ourselves trust ourselves that we're gonna keep doing the same system the same setups which is gonna make trading way easier on us because we don't have to think too hard we just trade to our edge we do our risk management and we go about our day simple we don't have to hesitate we don't have to f be fearful of a trade we know what the market is going to do in terms of like to our to our um edge it can lose or it go in it's only two possibilities so just Trade with your higher po probability based on your strategy. Do risk management and accept that you can lose that trade and you'll only get better. 
you only get better stick to your plan and you'll be great i'm telling you so boom that was thursday and after this i told myself that friday i would only take one trade because that was something that like i wanted to like really put that in my mind like no dave you're not rewarded for like doing that now because i already traded that you're only gonna take one trade so as you can see friday was nfp Whew. nfp and as we can see market was just after it had blasted off from yesterday like i had already gone off the markets as you can see it just consolidated in this area so it can either go up or down we're bullish on every time frame as you can see as shown with um the 200 EMA, but as we can also see, four hour was in the, in, in the um, supply area, one hour based on structure was also touching uh, one hour supplies, and 15 minute was just ranging, honestly. So, going down to five minute, we um, news came out at 8 15, blasted the market down as we can see. And as we know, like market has to fill in gaps. So started coming up and we had an amazing supply, high probability. And I was okay like with this being my only trade because I was like, okay, I know the 200 is right there. Filled all these gaps, but there's already initiated to the downside. Like it's probably gonna give us another push to back down based on, on this, maybe just a wick. So that's why it's smart to, that's why I decided to get in on um, aggressive on this one. Cause we, I was thinking, okay, we, for this one, because the zone is so small, we might not even get to break a candle and sit down here. So I purposely got in on the wick, went above the whole area. And then I just let price flow. And as we see, like we got the break a candle, but even a break a candle was barely anything and it started to to come back so i was so grateful that i had taken an aggressive entry we only want to take aggressive entries when uh when our supply or demand zones are small and on this one on this one i won as we can see this week was overall my best week of 2024 so far and i'm grateful a lot of learning lessons a lot of things that i know i can still work on one being on um, my discipline still like one to two trades is very important to me my psychology um, continuing to be proper risk management, not getting too high on my heels or too low. You know what I'm saying? Touching, touching ground. You know what I'm saying? Being humble enough to know that the markets can. You know what I'm saying? The market just gives us information. So all I'm doing is putting myself in the best position to to win every trade I can, to my probability. But I understand that the market is unique, so I can I'm gonna win some and I'm gonna lose some. I just want my wins to be bigger than my losses. That's it. I can lose some battles as long as I win the war. I'm cool. Feel me? So, awesome, amazing week. Another learning lesson is um, that I learned that is big is accept, accept your positions. If it's price is fluctuating and you're seeing it cut multiple candles to like to come back to your stop loss, to hit your stop loss, then you can take you can get out that trade. But if it's still just coming back, like it goes a little bit bullish and then it's coming back to um, to like break even, just pay attention because if there's no news or New York is not approaching, then nine times out of 10 is it's coming to collect orders and it's going to blast back up in your position. But if it starts going negative or you see something that you don't like, then you can cut it. But other than that, I'm, I'm okay with what I received because I feel like you only get better as you continue to trade iron sharpens iron and without being said man go to six figures and we only getting better we only get more intelligent more trust and in our ability, ability not to overthink not to hesitate but to go in with our best foot forward risk management trust our plan and let it do the rest without being said this is saucy day Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you got, what you guys want to see for future videos. And yeah, talk to you. See you.